So where exactly is my Router.js file and how exactly is this magic routing working? So um, earlier we kind of just created a very simple application. We created an about page. We can click to the about page and we can click back to the home page, right? Really, really, really simple. So let's have a look at what exactly is going on in your application. And it really is, yeah, I mean, it's magic, but it's not really magic. Um, so basically when we run the dev command, um, so yarn dev or npm run dev, and we have our application in development mode, we get a .nux folder. So this is created for us every time we create something, do something in our application. So in here, we actually have our router.js file. Now, if we look at this, you will see we have the import statement um, with pages about.view using webpack chunk name and the import for the index page. And if we scroll down a little bit, we can see these are our roots. So exactly how you would create your router.js file um, if you were coming from Vue or a similar framework, uh, except this is created for you automatically. And let me just show you what's going on. So if I go into the pages folder and I just create a new file and I'll call it uh, contact.view. So now I've got a new contact page. I'm just going to put like, you know, very simple. Um, hello from me. And I'll save that. And now if I go back to my nuxt.nuxt folder and into my router.js file, I now have another route. I've got a contact route. Okay, and that's just basically there. And it's very simple. So this file is great for debugging or for seeing what's going on or so you understand what's going on. But if I was to like change anything from help, so I could change that, for example, you know, this is going to be overridden. Um, so it's only for debugging and it's not really going to, to help me much in the sense of like that page is not going to exist, right? So basically, it's really good for um, if you want to just create a new page. Uh, why is this working? I can create a page and I can see in my router.js file the page exists. And that's basically uh, a good way of understanding the path to your roots, um, how it's working. But remember that that file, that folder is recreated every time we run the dev command. So you don't have to maintain it. Just letting you know it exists in case you were curious. Thanks. Bye.